Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of representing equations for multi-step problems. This is standard 5.4b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 9 off the Redesign Practice Online Star Test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have a jar, contains 110 coins, 15 quarters, 62 nickels, the rest are dimes. So we need to find a D, the total number of dimes in the jar. So let's open up our graph draw feature. Let's expand that out. Let's increase our transparency so we can see what's going on behind. All right, so let's draw. What do we have here? We've got a jar with 110 coins. All right, so you know what that looks like to me? That looks like the total. I'm going to... I'm going to draw a jar that's got uh, some coins in there. I'll just at least, you know what, this will be my jar. It will be a blue rectangle. Let's pretend that's my jar. And so I've got 110 coins. And so what do I have inside that jar? I've got 15 quarters. Now I'm not going to draw. I'm just going to, I'm just going to kind of put like a, a pile. And I'll say... Label it 15Q. Then let's get some nickels. Bigger pile. It's going to go a little bit higher here. And that's going to be much bigger. 62 nickels. So 62N. And then I don't know how big that last pile is. That's what I'm looking for. Dimes. It's just the rest the rest are dimes. All right, so question mark. So how could we put that all together in a strip diagram? Well, that's why I really saw this quickly and I said, oh, that's my total. So when we're looking at a strip diagram, right, we're usually going to put our total up on top unless we're comparing. So I've got 110. How many pieces are there within that jar? Well, there's three of them. So I'm just going to draw a part, 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 whole. And I'll just draw three equal parts, even though they're not necessarily equal. I don't know how big the dimes are right now. So I've got 15Q. I've got 62 nickels. And then I've got, you know, I don't know how many dimes, right? Question mark. So what is an equation I can use to figure this out? Well, let's look at some of our options. Our, op our options over here are always D equals, I've got my 110, then I got to do something with my 62, either add or subtract, and then do something with my 15, either add, or add or subtract. Well, let's see if we can figure this out on our, on our own. I'm wondering... How much are those two right there? 15 and uh, 62. So that is going to be 15, 62, 77. Okay, so these two together make 77. And so the rest are going to be the dimes, right? So then I could figure out this. I could do my 110. And I could take away my 77, right? And that's going to be 3. 10 minus 7 is 3. It looks like I've got 33. All right. So what did I do? Well, I added my 15 and my 62, right? So I see this right here. And I see that right there. I didn't subtract my 15 and 62. And then I uh, subtracted that from 33. So let me see if that's going to work here. But you know what, though? I didn't really use order of operations. Look at this. If I had parentheses, that might work. But what this is going to do in B is that's going to subtract the 62 and then add the 15. If I were just to start from the 110, you know what I would do? I would subtract this 15, then I would subtract that 62. So even though that's kind of close, it doesn't include parentheses. So I'm going to need D. 